This is a wooden nail, and this has got to be one of the most intriguing construction materials I have ever seen. Now, I've traveled 15,000 miles this year alone to different trade shows, it's seen thousands of products and interviewing hundreds of people. But this product alone was one of the most intriguing items that I wanted to feature in more of a long scale tutorial on how to actually use this and how strong is it. It's called Lock and it's from a company called Beck. Now, other than being the best vampire deterrent here in Washington, what can it actually also be used for? Well, the first thing is first, how do we actually use it in the first place? Let's get it set up and ready to go. With this item being such a specially construction material, it comes with a specially construction nail gun. This is the Lingenlock Coil Nailer, and this might look like just a normal coil nailer, but it is definitely specifically for this nail. Meaning, don't try and use metal roofing nails for this nail gun. We do have to use a small air compressor with this unit, and the directions state that it should be pumped up to approximately 100 to 120 PSI. Now I'm going to give this product a very upfront and honest review, which means that I'm going to be testing multiple materials in a multitude of ways. And the first material I'm going to be using is going to be an S4S Douglas fir, which does a very nice job at cleanly going through the wood without separating and cracking the board, along with keeping the top section flush. Now it's not perfect every single time, but in this circumstance it actually did quite well. Unfortunately, when I go to more of a harder, more dense material, like a solid oak, it does not do so well. Yeah, the denser the lumber, the more difficulty it had getting through the boards without cracking it. And I did try it on numerous boards and in numerous circumstances. Also different grain directions. And that's one of the more intriguing aspects about this product that I learned while doing these tests is that even though it's a nail, it has superior holding strength when applied correctly. And that's because of a process called Lingden welding. And that's when the fibers of the nail fuse together with the fibers of the board due to heat and friction. Now, if there's no cracking or blowout, this seems to happen every single time, no matter what the material is. And I tested it on numerous materials like plywood. Now to solidify this theory of Lingden welding, it involves a hammer because hammering these nails from start to finish is actually possible as you can see without the nail breaking. However, if you shoot the nail in with your nail gun and it doesn't go in all the way and then you try and nail it, that's when the nail breaks because that Lingden welding process has already occurred on the other half of the nail. Now that we know a little bit more about the product, I wanted to give it a true strength test, but before that, I want to give a suggestion as to a real world test. I apply a substantial amount of nails into one solid piece of pressure treated lumber, and that's to figure out whether this is a good product to use on exterior applications such as fence or any other areas where you're using Douglas fir and cedar material. Luckily for us, this product shined in these areas, and I even gave it a real world test in my backyard. Personally, this was actually quite impressive for me because I installed and built these horizontal fence lines and I had to pre-drill every single screw hole because these cedar boards would crack every single time I tried to drill into them with a screw. If I'm able to use wood nails, it not only looks better than screws or metal nails in my opinion, but it also saves me time because I'm not pre-drilling any holes whatsoever. If you watched my dome treehouse build, you will also know that I installed copious amounts of cedar shake on this dome, which took a substantial amount of time due to all of the unique angles and cuts. But if I had wood nails and I wasn't worried about any of these nails actually being visible in comparison to the metal nails, it would have saved me some frustration in some circumstances. Plus, it's also good to know that every single one of these nails that I applied to our dome no cracking occurred whatsoever. On their website, they did indicate that this product could be used for furniture and saunas, which does give me some great ideas for the future, and the reason why I wanted to make a quick little framed box to see the overall strength of it. But if you have any suggestions for how I should use this in the future, please let me know in the comment section. 
Now this frame box only has three nails on every single corner with zero glue. And as you can see, it actually holds up quite well but these are wooden nails and therefore you can definitely break those nails when you start putting some ample pressure to it. So please keep that in mind because they are obviously not indestructible, but they are quite strong for wooden nails. For my final test, we're gonna have to get creative because I wanna see the overall pullout strength for this product. And that's because I wanna see how strong this Lingden welding truly is. And therefore, we had to bring in the big guns with a framed system that goes all the way up to the ceiling joist. And on my ceiling in my garage, I have a hoist with a crane scale. When trying to figure out the best way of going about this test, I came to the conclusion of applying one board to the base of the structure with four nails. I then secured a large steel loop to the center of the board, and that's not going into the structure below it, that's just going into the board itself, and then hooking that loop into the crane scale. With this in place, I can now turn on my crane scale and see firsthand how strong this Lingden welding truly is. So, I don't know what the final tally was on that, but I see quite a bit of pull-out strength, and I, I don't know where we're at, but it was definitely over 500 pounds, so quite impressive. So it looks like these two just busted in half, and then this one slightly busted. This one is actually fully intact still, so potentially this is the... Uh, Ligden welding not quite adhering as much as the other three. So pretty interesting to see the difference, but I'm not surprised after that much weight of pulling. <laughs> so we're trying to screw, but we're gonna try the same brand, the Beck brand, but these are the nailable screw versions. So we'll see how these do. These nailable screws definitely don't have a ton of thread on them. So it is something to think about in terms of the thread itself, but pretty impressive nonetheless to see how much it actually held in comparison to the wood screws or the wood nails. As a final test, I figured, why don't we just try out a three inch long galvanized ring shank nail? For pull-out strength, these are definitely some pretty tough terms of nails. So we tried some screws, we tried the wooden nails. Why not try a high quality galvanized ring shank nail? As a quick caveat to this demonstration, now I did only apply two nails in this application because I do know how strong and durable these nails are. So I figured let's put it to the test with two versus four just to see and I personally was still quite impressed because this maxed out my crane scale and the crane scale went over 1200 pounds so I don't know when this thing would have inevitably pulled out but surpassed my crane scale and I didn't want to destroy it so I think I need to get a new one. Definitely shows you the difference but that's also quite impressive. Still nonetheless it is meant for strength and specifically pull out strength so that is a good note to finalize and know that there is a difference between a really high quality nail and something that's made of wood
Whether you like the product or not, it is quite intriguing and a product that I personally never even knew existed until I saw it at a trade show. Like I said at the very beginning of this video, I've been traveling all over the place this entire year, so I wanted to kind of have a nice culmination of stating that we're going to be getting back to regular scheduled programs of the DIY home improvement aspect on this channel, but I also appreciate unique materials that I can potentially feature in future videos. So if you have a project in mind, let me know in the comment section, but tell them, thank you for watching you beautiful sexy beasts. Oh yeah.